welcome to part two of my Lush Collection 2016. I don't think this video needs a large introduction. For those of you watching, or most of you watching, you've probably watched part one, which was my shower gel collection. If you've missed that, I suggest you head back over and find part one before indulging yourself in part two. I have to say I've had nothing but positivity from all of you guys who've watched the video so far. Most of you saying that you've enjoyed it a lot. Some of you saying you use me as an excuse, and I love that fact, use me all you want. Show your partners, show your friends that you're not so obsessed of Lush because you haven't seen my collection behind me. One thing I should point out about my shower jelly collection, because I don't think my shower jelly collection is that big, I think the shower gels is the big one. I am quite happy to use shower jellies four, five, six years again out of date. I have done in the past and the only thing I notice is with some shower jellies they start to get a little bit runny, as in they start to sweat a little in the pot but uh, they still work perfectly fine. It's still down to your choice whether or not you use them straight away fresh. I know fresh is better, I'm not going to disagree with that, or whether you store them, but uh, I'm, I'm just talking too much now. Shut up, Jen, get on with the video. This is part two of my Lush Collection 2016. On to part two, and we're on to my shower jellies, my hand scrubs, my scrubs, my body conditioners, my body lotions, etc. Let's have a little look at what we're going to be looking at today. This is my second row all the way down the end. Okay, so if I've not already shown you how much of a crazy person I am from part one, this part might cement it for you. First up on the list is this beautiful hand-carved, I think it's hand-carved, I might be making that up, box from Lush. Now this was only given to managers, I believe, and certain special people. And I was lucky enough to be given one of these by Lush as part of a gift for me when I went to Lush Oxford Street one day to meet the rather wonderful Hannah from Lush P are and she presented this box to me which if I open it up for you look at that beautiful box and this was full of Lush Kitchen goodies as well as a beautiful note from the Lush Kitchen team asking me to come and visit. That at the moment is empty because I just want to celebrate the fact that it's a beautiful box. I love boxes. I have enough Lush boxes filled with other things so I don't need to use this. And this just sort of breaks up my collection from a distance. So moving on to my shower jellies, look at those beauties. Now I don't actually have as many shower jellies as I have done in the past. And the reason being is that I actually have I've made sure when a new jelly comes out in the kitchen I only buy two and the reason for that is simply because I don't use them as much as shower gels and seeing part one seeing how many shower gels I have I don't really need to have lots of shower jellies lying around as well okay so I sort of brought the camera in a little bit closer so you guys can have a closer look so to start with we have these two beauties here these are jungle shower jelly these are exclusive to the lush kitchen they are one of the greatest colored shower jellies again we have that glare going on I hate you sun this one here is actually cut up for me to use and this one isn't this shares its scent with the tropical jungle body lotion and of course the solid jungle hair conditioner as well as the perfume and various other lovely beautiful things I would like to see a jungle shower gel I would like to see anything shower jar really. But up next we have two spank me with saplings. I don't really know why I brought three of these and no, that's not me not being able to count. I do have another one in the shower that I'm about to use up now. This was a product that I first brought years ago when it was out in the retro range and they only released it in 100 gram tubs. And when it came out again, I thought, why not? Very unique smell, that one. Moving on next door here, we have two beautiful shower jellies that have sort of divided people, actually. It shares its scent with the American Cream family. There's lots of things, well, lots and lots of things in that product scent. I happen to love this shower jelly because it is so subtle. It's quite a soft smelling shower jelly. I don't think necessarily it's as strong as the cream at all, but I just love the American Cream scent and I'm bitter that the conditioner is not vegan. So so I can live with that. Up next we have two of these. These are magic. These are one of the strongest shower jellies I think that Lush offer. They share their scent with the Magic Ballistic and I love them. Beautiful colour, very unique smell, mint, rose, thyme, parsley, lots of herbs etc. I also have half of this that's been blended up in the shower as we speak. Going to pan across there, look at those skills. Up next we have, sorry I'm really sarcastic today, up next we have two of the Avo shower shower jellies. I perhaps think the greatest green colour that Lush have ever produced. Look at that. I just need to open one of these and show you guys. Is that not beautiful? Whee! 
These obviously share their scent with the Avo shower. And seeing as I don't have, uh, you know, I don't have enough Avo shower, do I really? We've all seen from part one of the video, just to show you. I'm running out of Avo showers. So uh, I'm glad I've got those jellies to last me. Sarcasm overload. Up next we have two of the Big Calms. One of my favourite shower jellies, top three for sure. Perhaps actually number one or joint number one, I'm not sure. My top three are very, very close indeed. This has a very similar scent to the Fouquet. Fouquet? Fouquet. Yep, yeah, Fouquet. I got it right. I don't want to pronounce that bath bomb wrong. It's just a really lovely, again, beautiful colour. This one here is quite a boring colour, but I assure you they are normally beautiful. Most of the jellies, when they are put in the tub, are made to look like waves. Moving on to the next part, it almost looks like Sweetie Pie's had a bit of an argument with Pot of Gold. Let's do these ones first. So up next I have One Refresher. This is a regular product. This was a product I think I bought on the opening day of Lush Oxford Street when I had to buy at least one to try. And it's not one that I will keep once I use this up. And then up next I also have a Pot of Gold. This is quite an old one. This wasn't when it came out in the kitchen a few weeks ago. This shares its scent with the Creme Anglaise range. It's quite an acquired taste beautiful and gold it's one that i don't know i'll have to be in the mood for this scent it's not a scent i can use any time behind we have perhaps the other strongest shower jelly next to magic this is happy blooming which shares its scent with a happy blooming bath melt a really strong sort of sickly very rich cherry smell and just because i'm showing most of these to you i'll show this one as well there we go we have one Sweetie Pie. This is really old. I think I bought this when I realised that it was going to be discontinued. Again, for those who haven't seen part one of my collection, shower jellies are really robust and they last years and years and years past their sell-by date. Then I have one of these and I have a half-used tub of one of these in the shower. This is Deep Sleep. This is a lovely smell, very similar to the likes of Golden Slumbers, Dreamtime Bath Melt, things like that. Uh, it's a lovely lavender smell, but it also has orange in it, which sort of gives it a slight kick, and it's got neroli in there to add a bit of sweetness. Then at the back here, the product that I have to do a bit of research for, this is iced wine. This is what I would class as my other top three um, shower jelly, alongside Big Calm and another one which I'm going to show you in a bit. This supposedly is not vegan, and the ones I've had, and these ones here, are stated as being vegan, but I need to double check that. I will be heartbroken if it's not vegan, because I can't use those, I have to pass them on. Okay, before we get on to the next part, I thought I would go through this, which is one of the letters that I have blue tacked or in this case pinned to my collection. These are things that mean a lot to me and I have to showcase them because I love them and they're very heartfelt. This one says, Jen, thank you so much for all the amazing work you do. We truly love your blog. Enjoy a little early Christmas gift from us, love Lush. And that was last year when Lush sent me a beautiful parcel with some of my favourite Christmas products. And I was really chuffed the fact they'd gone to the effort of finding out my favourite and sending me a little selection and that really meant a lot to me. On to the next part of my collection and this is the one part that normally looks quite messy. I've managed to organise it for you guys so I hope you appreciate this but normally it's just sort of thrown in there and there's no sort of order with it. So we start off here with our body conditioners. We have two. We have African Paradise which shares its scent with the Heartthrob Bubble Rune or should I say the Bubble Rune shares its scent with this because this was the original product. This is a regular product but the reason why I have this one is because it is quite an expensive product and I decided one day I really fancy some, I bought it and I thought I might as well store it. And then we have a rare one here which I'm sure a lot of people would love to come back and that is the Yummy Mummy Body Conditioner. This shares its scent with the Yummy Mummy Shower Gel. At the back here I have my only two smoothies because I don't tend to keep smoothies. Once these go I won't keep them. This is Dream Wash. The reason why I have two is because I love this product. It's great after I've had laser surgery and I need something really softening but gentle on my skin or in the summer months when perhaps I'm a little bit sunburned and I need something that's going to help my skin. This is great. Oh look, bit of separation there. It's absolutely fine though. I've used it as separation before. The only reason I've got two pots is because when it last came out in the kitchen I really couldn't afford, I think I was on a ban, but I couldn't afford to buy one and the Lush Kitchen actually sent me one and that was so sweet of them. I love this product, I think I'm gonna put this back in the shower and get this one used up. Up next we have another body conditioner here, we have Chris Stingle. Now, one thing I should just state, and I'm sure people are aware of this anyway, 
is that, uh, well first of all, this was a product that came out last Christmas and it came out in the Lush Kitchen quite recently for the summer months, which is great. I know that with the recent Lush Kitchen order, a lot of people were a bit concerned because of the consistency of that and I just thought I should let you know there is a reason why the consistency is different across batches in the kitchen it's because it depends on the compounder who's actually making those products so some compounders spend a little bit longer doing certain things leave the products a little bit longer in certain places and that is why sometimes you'll get crystingle that's quite runny or you'll get crystingle as in the case of mine is not runny at all and that is the reason why so there's no product default it's just the compounder and the way they work and I have one large tub of that, which came from last Christmas. I have a miniature or medium tub of that, which came from a gift set. And I have a small tub of that as well. I have no idea where that small tub came from. I'm not complaining. And my last body conditioner, I believe, is this one here. Just a small pot of rose argan body conditioner, which shares its scent with all of the rose jam stuff. I'm not going to list the products that share their scent with rose jam. I'll be here for the next 20 minutes. But there's an awful lot of products. Check out my blog if you need to do so. And behind my body condition is here I go on to my lotions now I did last year really cut down on my lotions so I only had two but I seem to have accumulated a lot this year and now it's my mission to cut it down again so first and foremost I have a tub of celebrate which shares its scent with all the celebrate range golden slumbers snow showers we've had this discussion before I also have as I mentioned earlier a pot of the creme anglaise so this is the same scent as our beautiful pot of gold here this I believe is quite a runny one or well, my back which is quite runny but again I have to be in a mood for that one there it's not really a summery body lotion I don't want to smother that on me in the summer and I have a tiny pot which is half empty of the karma cream this is a regular product you can get all the time it's really light and fruity and obviously shares its scent with the karma range we have more body lotions see what I mean I have too many body lotions I have a tub of American cream which shares its scent with the American cream range so I always pair it or mostly pair it with the American pie shower jelly there we go Behind here we have one ginger body lotion which I've used a few times so I can review and update my review but it's not a product I want to use all the time but I actually quite like it in that format. I prefer that to the shower gel of the same scent because it's not so potent on your skin once it's settled. And as well as ginger I have this which I do need to use up. I keep forgetting I have this. This I bought on the opening day of Lush Oxford Street. There we go, if you can see that. And then on the top here, I have two medium and one small. As you can see, some of them are Spanish, and the top one is the small one I got with my Papa Bear gift set. These are Smuggler's Soul, which shares its scent with Smuggler's Soul, funnily enough. And next door, I have one I always forget to use, and I still have my two bottles. This is Skin Sin. This was released in the kitchen, and it's just a beautiful, gentle, lavender body lotion. No, it is not Twilight, but if you like Twilight, you might like that one. However, given the recent sneak peek of seasonal products coming up if you like twilight well you know what's coming then over here i have and i always forget i have this as well one large tub and one medium tub of dream cream hand and body lotion this is one of their biggest sellers it's just so calming so gentle on your skin if you have allergies eczema this is a great one to use the reason why i have this pot is because it came in a gift set that i got the reason why i have the big pot is that i managed to sell a pot of this to one of my colleagues at work and i sold it so well that i sold it to myself as well so I went home and brought myself a tub. I've sort of panned along a little too much there, but I can still fit them in. First and foremost, I have a tub of the salted coconut hand scrub. This shares its scent with the furs range. And this is actually a brand new tub that I brought quite recently because I used the other one up. I do tend to use it as a body scrub as well, and it works quite nicely as a gentle exfoliation. And then over here, I have three left. And that's pretty impressive because I started with seven or eight tubs of the Smuggler's Soul Facial Exfoliant or Facial Scrub. So these two are my my Spanish ones and the bottom one here is one I got in the Papa Bear gift set. These share their scent supposedly with Smuggler's Soul but I'm just not sold on this product that much. It works quite well but in terms of smell not particularly impressed with that one but I know some people are so I'm not here to do reviews I'm just here to show you guys how crazy I am then behind here I have one of these and I have another one of these in the shower this is run to the embassy foot scrub this is a lush kitchen exclusive and obviously as the name suggests it's for your feet it has a really strong sort of peppermint menthol sort of smell the reason why I have two is I saw them in a the kitchen wasn't going to buy one then made another order that I shouldn't have done and popped one of these in with my order and the very next day 
day, made another order I shouldn't have done, and popped another one in because I forgot I'd done it the day before. That's why I have two. What a beautiful story that was. And then we have this, which I don't know if it's going to come back in the kitchen for a long time because it wasn't a popular seller. This is the Brimstone Shower Scrub. First and foremost, a lot of people hate the smell of this. This smells, I can't even describe it, so, so, so strong. It smells, I suppose, like sulfur, sulfur and salt. Secondly, when you use this in the shower, this actually almost sizzles on your skin and it feels a little bit heated, like it's burning your skin. I'm not selling it well, am I? However, I love this product. I love this so much. I loved how it made my skin feel. But if you have sensitive skin, this is going to wreak havoc and I would avoid it at all costs. The only problem I have with this scrub, and the only reason I've kept this, really, this doesn't work past a couple of months. When this comes out in the kitchen again, if I buy a handful, I will make sure I use it up in the first couple of months. This does not last. At this stage, if I was to use this in the shower, it would just become mush. It won't fizzle, it won't scrub, it becomes mush, horrible sticky mush you get up your nails and you can't get out. So this is probably the product that I found does not age at all, as in doesn't age well at all, should I say. If it comes out in the kitchen and it, you know, takes your fancy, make sure you use it up in the first two months. There's no point storing these. I've kept this really for when it does come back in the kitchen, if it does, and then I can use this to take some arty pictures with. Up next I have two Japanese exclusive. These are Hanami scrubs. These are lovely and gentle. I love these scrubs. I can't really describe the consistency, but it's like nothing that the Lush UK have ever released. The scrub is not coarse, but it's not light either. It's that perfect balance in between. A lovely gentle smell, and one of them's quite fresh. I got one this year from somebody who gave me one, which is lovely of them, and one of them's quite old, but they still work. These are the Sandy Santa body scrubs. They originally came out as just a scrub and I do love the scrub, I hope they bring that back as well. But now it's more of a body scrub so it's got lots more cocoa butter, lots of extra oils in there. And the smell oh, is so beautiful, so sweet and fruity. I hope these come back in the kitchen this year. Then down here, an exclusive, because I haven't even sniffed these or tried these myself. These are five of the Aqua Mirabilis, wow, that is bright. Aquamarabilis underwater body butters. I have literally touched these two times. This is the second time I've picked this product up. The first time was putting it there for you guys to see. I'm excited to try these. Apparently they fizzle like a bath bomb for a while and then you pick it up and you scrub it of what's left over. And I've heard that you can break it in half and use it for two. Over here we have what I said earlier. This is the Glorious Mud Body Mask. This shares its scent with creme anglaise, pot of gold. The idea is that you get yourself a little bit wet under the shower and then you start scrubbing this. You can break it down if you want into a bowl or scrub yourself over. Then a product that I've actually fallen out with at the moment. I don't know if you can see that up close without the sun sort of killing your eyes. This product I got out the other day to do my Lush Kitchen video, but I put this somewhere and it decided to melt. And not only melt, but it decided to melt all over one of my last year's massive Christmas boxes. I am not amused in the slightest. This is the Aqua Mirabilis body butter. This is the newer edition that was a regular product in stores for a while until they discontinued it last year. This was the old version, this is the new version. I happen to love this version so much. Underneath there I have two products that I can actually now use given the recent leaks. This is the salt and peppermint bark scrub which came out last Christmas as a limited edition. It's coming out again this year and it shares its scent with the maypole soap. It just reminds me of butter mints that you to get. Then at the front here we have one of these. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy and this is a beautiful scent so I'm equally excited by a couple of products that are coming out for Christmas this year. This is so sweet and beautiful. Sweet vanilla-y sort of smell of jasmine and the lot. And then down the front here, a little bit boring, but it's just your regular Buffy. I have a big one of these that I'm currently using in the shower. The same goes with this next door. This is Rub Rub Rub. And once I use that up, I won't replace it because I don't keep regular products stored up like that. At the back here is perhaps what I would class as one of my products I would not sell for anything. This is absolutely, I, I'm just gushing over it right now, this is beautiful. This is Life's a Beach, but I know you're thinking, Jen, what do you mean? Life's a Beach, you can buy it anywhere, it's available everywhere. This is not Life's a Beach UK, this is not Life's a Beach US or Canada or wherever. This is Life's a Beach Australia. This was a limited edition product that came out before the Life's a Beach in the box came out for us, and this is not 
vanilla -y scented. This is watermelon scented. Now Lush do not do enough watermelon scented products and I love watermelon. This just reminds me of a Jolly Rancher in scrub form. I love it. It's one of my most prized possessions and one that I don't tend to use very often because I don't want to use it up. On to the last part of my second part of my Lush collection and I've sort of closed the curtains a little bit to get rid of some of that glare, get rid of some of that sunlight. So we're on to the second part of my jelly. So as you can see, the first part is all the way over there. And I know some people, point to it over there in case you can't see, over there. I know some people would probably hate the fact that I've separated the jellies, but aesthetically, if you look back, I find my collection looks a lot more balanced. This is my slight OCD coming in, if I have the jelly separated like that rather than together. And also my body lotions then are closer to the window, therefore closer to any heat coming in, therefore they're more likely to go off, whereas shower gels and jellies cope with it a lot better. So to start with at the front, I have one large tub and one small tub of Santa's Belly. This shares its scent with the So White range. I think I prefer prefer the scent in this format because the colour is more suited in this format. Whereas So White, I know you're expecting white, but So White in the shower gel or the bath bomb is white. It sort of intensifies the smell slightly. I know that's more of a psychological thing, but nevertheless, I have two of those. Then behind here, I have one product I always forget I have, which is Needles on Pine. That is a regular shower jelly. I brought that on the opening day. Once I use that up, I probably won't replace it unless I really crave it. And then I I have one older and one newer tub of snow showers and everyone knows that shares its scent with all of the snow showers range, all of the celebrate range, supernova, golden wonder, etc. Beautiful, beautiful smell. I think I can probably use that up now that I've uh, got many celebrate shower gels. Next door here we have two of the snowman shower jellies and these are quite a weird choice for Christmas not because of the name but because of the smell because they're a very very bright sour citrusy smell and they share their scent with the carrot soap and the carrot bubble bar and the snowman fun obviously but I love those and they're shaped like little snowmen. Then we have Nightwing which was a release last year which is a lovely lime smell and it's a black bat if you were to take it out. I am not a massive fan of this, not because of the smell, because the smell is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of black and green wine gums, but because the scent didn't linger very long in the shower. Talking of scents not lingering very long, at the back here we have this year's release, um, Easter release, which is the Bouncy Bunny. This is actually the accumulation of three of these. I ended up with the amount of gift sets I got, I ended up with about six or seven Bouncy Bunnies. So I took three of the smaller pots, cut them up and put them in one big pot. So there's three pots, four pots, five pots, and these are shaped like little bunny rabbits. And they have a really lovely smell, but again, just like Nightwing, they don't really linger that long in the shower I find and oh that's what I needed to do and on the top here we have a single strawberry Santa this to me is one of the most boring shower jellies because it just smells of the basic strawberry scent you can almost imagine this scent being made from other companies because it's quite a basic smell so nothing special about it but I keep it for photos and to have a sniff every so now and then and then we have an old Calacus and this is alongside big carbonized wine my top three I love it this is the best along with the perfume Calacus scented product that Lush do you'll notice is I also have two of the fresh ones and look at the difference in that colour. There is a big difference so I can actually finally use that one up because I have two fresh ones to keep me going. I also have here one single Karma shower jelly. You know the story about this with me. I love it so much but I've never used it. I've obviously used another one hence why I was able to review it. I have not used that because I have so many of the Karma shower gels. Oh and speaking of Karma shower gels, I want to apologise for all of those people watching my part one and cursing me when I completely skipped over poor little karma which happens to be one of my favorite shower gels so just so it gets its own bit of spotlight I also have three bottles of karma shower gel beautiful product I'm so sorry that I missed you guys out and finally when it comes to shower jellies I have a single small pot of 93,000 miles this is a regular product I have this because I've recently started going to the gym and this is great in the shower afterwards to give you a boost and a bit of a tingle but I wouldn't normally store or keep any more than one of a regular product because I don't see the point. If I want them fresh, I go and buy them fresh. And mixed in with the shower jellies because it doesn't fit in with my shower gel aesthetic, this is Lemon Melt Shower Gel, which is very, very beautiful and very unique and different from anything else. It is a Lush Kitchen exclusive. It's very runny and it just seems like the most natural product that Lush have ever done. It really does. It has a big slice of lemon in there. Mine's sort of 
fallen to the bottom and it's coated with shavings of cocoa butter so it really does feel like someone has made that in a kitchen. Now I'm going to move on to my small shower gels over here and the reason I have so many of these is because I buy so many gift sets. I have one free shower gel, now this is so out of date, this went out of date six years ago so it's not really a product I'd be tempted to use. I'm going to give it a quick sniff. It actually just smells exactly like free shower gel but I just think it's really cute and this obviously came in a gift set, an even older product. Look at this, look how cute this is. This is 100 grams Happy for Sad shower gel. Again, I wouldn't use it because I have a nice fresh bottle, but this went out of date seven years ago. I have one, two of the olive branch. As some people have asked me, Jen, you don't have any olive branch? I do have a couple of bottles here, as you can see. This is a regular product. I do love it, but I have so many shower gels, I don't often get a chance to use it. I have two bottles of the Comforter shower cream. As if I need enough with my two 500 grams, also, I have two 100 gram bottles of yuzu and cocoa this one here was part of the japanese gift sets that they released earlier in the year in the kitchen and this obviously on the right is just one from a gift set i have one bottle of snow fairy and in all fairness this is the only bottle i should have two bottles of lord of misrule shower cream i have a little 100 gram bottle of super tramp and again i keep this for reviews for pictures and for the occasional use as you can see i don't really use it that much. I have a small little 100 grams of rose jam. I have a happy hippie, so there we go for those who are interested, I have a happy hippie. And I have 100 grams of the beautiful shower gel. I have one single bottle of Prince Charming shower gel. And there are my small little 100 gram bottles of the shower gel. The final part of part two is this beautiful tin here. Now this for me is one of the greatest lush tins that they've ever done. It's so unique. It was released for Mother's Day. You're supposed to play plant seeds in there which we'll give into as part of the gift set and I just thought what better gift set than that to store my soaps and my funds. As you can see it is jam-packed, it is not all of my soaps and all of my funds, you'll find out in a later part actually how many soaps I have. For somebody who doesn't use soaps it's pretty impressive but we're going to dive in here and see what I can get out. So first of all we have one of these and I believe somewhere, I'll find it later, we have another one of these somewhere, I could be wrong. This is the Thanks Dad soap which came out this year for Father this day. It's a lovely scent. It shares its scent with both the Mod Father Bubble Bar, which also came out, and Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly we saw earlier. I have a slice of Drop of Hope. This was a Japanese exclusive and it came out earlier this year. I managed to get my hands on some. It's a very, very plain soapy smell, if that makes any sense. Worst review ever. Then up next we have a piece of Ula La soap. It's sort of leaked a little bit here, but this soap, for those who've tried it, is absolutely exquisite. At the end here, I have a massive, disgusting looking block, but it smells beautiful, of the Rose Argan Gourmet Soap from the Lush Oxford Street Collection. This soap apparently has been reformulated, or was reformulated many months ago, and I was told about it just before it happened, and someone was in a store and said, Jen, there's this big block of Rose Argan soap, the original, do you want it? And I said, yes. Up next I have one of these, these are, or these, well, this is, should I say, the sunflower soap, which shares its scent with the almond buttercream. It is such a beautiful soap. Don't know why I was doing that while I was saying it, really. Just to build up that excitement for those who've never tried it. Then, in this bag here, we have, from the Lush HQ, and I haven't actually used it yet because it's just too beautiful to look at. This is a slab of Zen soap, which is beautiful and started out as a Lush Oxford Street exclusive. I love the smell of this. As I said, there we go. I said there was one more, but there's actually two more. Those are two more Thanks Dad soaps. I have one block here, and I'm so glad I do, having looked at the new Christmas products this year. And I have one block below me that I'm currently drying out. This is the Old Father Time soap from last Christmas, and it is just a beautiful smell. I love it so much. A Lush Kitchen release, as you can see, a Mr. Punch soap. This was a soap that I got given as part of my Lush Kitchen invite box that I talked about at the beginning of the video. This is Mosquito, which is another gourmet soap from the kitchen. Then I have a very popular soap. This is the Love Soap, hashtag gay is okay, and I have one unwrapped and one wrapped. Next up I have three of these soaps. These are the Hand of Friendship soaps, and they share their scent with a cyanide pill. They're a sort of almond and cherry smell, and these were exclusive, I believe, just to the US, but luckily someone was very kind enough to go and grab me some of those, and I'm very pleased that they did. And then we go on to my funds, I believe. So up first I have two of the Santa Fun 
funds. I have perhaps one of my favourite funds from last Christmas. Well, definitely my favourite fund from last Christmas. This is Snakes and Ladders, and this shares its scent with the Respect Your Elders soap. It has a beautiful, fruity, fruity smell. Then I have one of these, and I actually forgot I had this. This is a fun with a twist. This is a Lush Kitchen exclusive. The purple part of this fun is Twilight, and the yellow part of the fun is Dragon's Egg. Next up, I have two of these. These are Magic of Christmas. These share their scent with the Jingle Spells bath bomb. Again, they were released last Christmas. And finally, we have one of these. This is the Snowman Fun, and shares its scent with the Snowman Jelly, as I said earlier. So there we have the end of part two of my collection, looking at all of my funds, some of my soaps, all of my small shower gels, all of my jellies, and my scrubs, my conditioners, my body lotions, and my smoothies, all the way across to the end there. I hope you've enjoyed watching part two. As you would expect, my Lush collection is not finished. Check out part three, which will be up only a couple of days after this one, I hope, fingers crossed. And until next time, take care.